Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Horizon and we are back with another video. So today we're going to be doing a, just a small, very small haul, not even sure if I even want to call it that. We're going to do one from Just Fab. I did go ahead and purchase a few boots just because I was going through my shoes and it's not getting cold at all here in Florida, but of course when the temperature does drop, I don't want to be in flip-flops or sandals. So I went ahead and looked through my shoes and I realized I don't have any fall shoes. So what better time to buy some fall shoes than now? I will go ahead and try to list the sizes and the links to the ones that I did purchase down in the description box. I always do that, but I noticed I never say it in the video. And if you guys are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope this isn't going to be a last time. And if you are returning, I really appreciate you. I just want to say hi, family. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. <music> So before we get started with the items, I do want to make a small disclaimer. I am filming on a Saturday morning, so all of my family is home. They are in the kitchen making breakfast, so I do apologize about the noise in advance. So the first pair of boots we're going to talk about are actually my least favorite out of the whole purchase, which is funny. But we're going to talk about these brown boots here. I did purchase everything in a size 8, and then I also did try everything on with thicker socks for the girls that do live in colder climates but they were pretty comfortable trying them on with the thicker socks so kudos to that i'm glad i purchased these in eight honestly because i feel like the seven and a half would have been a little bit too small um so i just have these brown boots here i did go for a lot of basic items in this haul um well i try to be as basic as possible just because i do want something that i can wear pretty versatile and if i need to dress them up i can do that then but just these simple brown boots they were pretty comfortable when I tried them on. I have not worn these yet. I've only worn one of the boots out of the entire haul. I felt like they made my feet look a little big, in my opinion. I felt like they just looked a little long, in my opinion. They don't have a zipper. I kind of wish they did, just because sometimes, like, sliding my foot into the shoe, like, trying them off and on, it just was a little bit, you know, a little tight up here. But I guess it's to be expected, because you don't want it to be too big. But yeah, here's these brown boots here. And I wouldn't necessarily say I recommend them just because they're not necessarily my style. I just wanted something that I can just throw on real quick instead of my flip flops. So let's move on to the next shoe. Okay, so the next boot we're gonna talk about are these burgundy boots that I purchased here. They are booties. They do have a slightly longer shaft than the other one and they don't have a zipper as well. It does have the elastics on the side for you to slide your foot into. I will say that it was a little easier getting into the other shoes versus this one, probably just because the shaft is a little longer. It does have a loop in the back, I guess, for you to you know help put it on, but it didn't really help that much for me. I like these boots. I thought I was going to like them a little bit more than I did. They're cute. There's nothing wrong with them, in my opinion. I just felt like they weren't really my style. I did like these because it made me feel a little a little more grown. I am 27, so I kind of made me feel my age, which I like in, uh, I don't know, I liked it. This heel is a block heel, but it's not just a traditional square or a rectangle. It is a bit triangle shaped. So let me see if you can see it that way. And if you can't see it that well on the camera, then I'll try to take a picture of it and insert it just so you can kind of get an idea of the shape of the heel. And then you can also see if I do it like this. It's a triangle shaped heel. And I honestly didn't know that when I purchased them. I haven't worn these yet, but when I did try them on with the thicker socks, they did feel really good. I'm glad I did not size down and I got an eight in these shoes. But yeah, I, I, I do like these. I do feel like I'm going to wear them. I might try to wear them with the outfit today. I'm not sure, but I do like that it is the pointed toe, which I don't really care too much for pointed toes if it's not like a pump, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I get some wears out of them. This is a really beautiful shoe, honestly. I like that even though it was from, you know, just fab and sometimes they're not the best quality but i do feel like the design in these was really cute i felt like it was just a little bit something different with the heel to the pointed toe and even to the height of the shoe but yeah here are the burgundy boots here yeah 
I think they're cute. I would recommend them just because I do feel like this is really cute, really sophisticated, especially if this type of shoe is your style. I, I would definitely recommend them. Okay, let's move on to the next boot. Okay, so the next pair of boots we're going to talk about are these white booties here and i did go ahead and get these in two colors actually i brought them in white and i also brought them in silver i actually did these are the ones that i did wear i wore them to a baby shower last week and they were pretty comfortable i might say i didn't do too much walking um i did at the end do a little bit of you know cleaning up so i felt like for the most part they were comfortable but the more i was on my feet the more you know, they begin to feel like a heel. I noticed for me, shoes that have a little bit of platform in the front here just seems to be a little more comfortable for me. The heel isn't super high, in my opinion. I felt like they were comfortable to walk in. They were comfortable to stand in for the most part. And I thought these are really cute. I say really cute, like, oh, they're not, you know, super glammed up, but I feel like they're just a staple that you can keep in your closet and you can put it with almost anything and dress it up. You can wear a basic outfit, put these boots on, and then it just kind of makes it look a little bit more, you know, dressed up. So they do have a little gold zip zipper. They do have a little gold zipper on the side here. Pointed toe, small shaft, and they are matte in feel. They do have this little triangle elastic thing here, I guess maybe to help your foot stretch if you have, you know, thicker ankles. But yeah, here's the shoe. I like these and I do recommend them. I did make sure I get white just because I noticed white isn't something I tend to pick up in shoes. And I feel like white boots, you can almost wear them, you know, all year round, of course, especially not in the summer, but you can definitely wear them in fall, winter and spring. And it's just one of those things that is just a classic. So yeah, I'm glad I did pick these up. And I also got this in an eight as well. I felt like with this shoe and with the other shoe like this, I could have sized down. I did get these in, I believe, a wide. And I'm going to make sure that I put the sizes on the screen because I tried to make sure that if any of them came in a wide, then I went ahead and, and got the wide. So I felt like I could have got a seven and a half wide in these and still been okay. Definitely in them silver ones, I could have gotten a seven and a half wide and been fine because I tried them silver ones on with the thick socks and they were still pretty big. And that was just me putting it on. It wasn't even me wearing them, you know, getting a good feel. So I'm pretty sure those boots are just going to feel a little bit more roomy, but we'll get onto that one when we get there. Here are the white boots here. Block heel, pointed toe. So I do recommend these, definitely recommend. They are a little dusty, so I gotta wipe them off from after me wearing them, but let's go on to the next one. So the next pair of boots that we have are these low-key knee highs. I honestly, <laughs> I'm saying low-key because I honestly don't remember how high these come. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, they come a little bit up to the knee. They don't, they're not over the knee. They're definitely under the knee, but I have these here. And I picked these up just because, for one, I needed a black boot. Everybody needs a black boot. But I felt like the, sh the shoe shape was just a little different. Um, they're a lot more clunky. Um, <laughs> that's probably not the word to be using, but they're definitely low-key kind of clunky. I like that they still did have a decent size heel on it, but it did have a little bit of the platform on it as well. It just gave it like a slight twist to your traditional black boot that you'll wear in the winter and in the fall. But I do like the feel of them. I felt like when I wore, when I did put these on to try them on, I did try them on with sweatpants. Don't ask why. But I tried them on with sweatpants the first day I got them. And then I tried them on again for the try on haul with some jeans. And this was tight right here. Let me see if I got these in a... Okay, this doesn't tell me if I brought them in a wide or not, but I'll put it on the screen. And if these are wide, that's crazy because it definitely did not feel like it. It had this little triangle thing here for, I guess, you know, elasticity, but I felt like they could have been, if this is a wide, it could have been a little wider in, in, the, in the shaft here because, yeah, that's crazy. I like these. I feel like I'm indifferent about them. For now, I haven't worn them with the outfit yet, so I I felt like they were going to look a little different in person. Um, they definitely look different, not in a good way, but I don't know. I think I just have to play it up with the with a good outfit for me to for me to like it. But here's the boot. Here's the inside. 
and the outside. But yeah, I I'm not mad at the purchase. I'm I'm not mad at the purchase, but I just feel like I need to see what it's going to look like with certain outfits in order for me to have my true feelings about that. But honestly, honestly, I'm one of those people where you know I'll think something looks weird and then I'll put it on with the outfit and then I'm completely in love with it. So don't take my reaction right now for that's how I really feel about the shoe because that may or may not be true once I pair it with the right outfit. Okay, let's go on to the next boot. Okay, so the second to last boot that I purchased are going to be these almost combat looking boots here. I did go ahead and buy two pairs of black boots just because everybody needs a black boot. I tried to really go basic. Look, I really tried, okay? I tried just to get some simple classic staples that you can, you know, wear with almost anything, but it was hard, okay? And I like these, and I haven't had a good pair of combat boots in a while, so yeah. So <laughs> so here's these here. They do have a little bit of a thicker sole on them, just kind of like the last one. They have a smaller shaft, they do lace up, and they do have a zipper on the side as well. They almost kind of remind me of Bratz boots, just because, you know, they the base of them and the heel was like really chunky and really thick. I don't know. They just kind of remind me of brass boots. But I did purchase these as well in a size 8. And they do fit pretty comfortable for the most part. Honestly, I'm really glad that I just decided to get 8s across the board. Just because everything fit the way it was supposed to. Aside from the other black boots. I just felt like the shaft of them could have been a little thicker because the calf. I'm pretty sure I'm calling it the wrong thing, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? I just felt like that could have been a little bit bigger, but here are these. I do actually like these. I feel like this can give your outfit just a little twist, even if it's just a pair of jeans and a sweater. I feel like these boots is definitely going to give it just a slightly more edgy kind of look, and I like that. The bottom of the sole feels very grainy. I'm not sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing. Typically, I do like ridges on my soles just because I don't want to be nowhere slipping. But I feel like when I put these on, I low-key had a little slipping action in, <laughs> in my room. So not sure how it's going to do outside. Hopefully, it's going to be a little better. But here are the boots. Here are the boots. I do like these. And I'm, I think, I can't remember if they had these in another color. I can't remember if they have these in another color, but I'm 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 fine with the black. I don't I don't need any other colors. But yeah, here are these, and let's and I have one more pair of boots, so let's go on to the last pair of boots. Okay, and lastly, we're going to talk about these silver booties that I purchased here. These are the same exact pair as the white ones that I showed earlier, and I did get these. I know for sure these came in a extra wide. I think they only came in regular and extra wide, and I felt like with these, I should have either gotten a eight regular or a seven and a half wide. Low key, I kind of felt like I could have just got a seven and a half um, without even getting it wide, but I just feel like sometimes with boots, I feel a little suffocated and... I was trying not to go for that. But yeah, even though these are the same exact shoe, they have these in silver, white, and in black. And I kind of want to go back and get the black just because I do really like these. I haven't worn these one yet. And even though silver isn't technically a basic, I feel like you could put this on with white or whatever. White is the only thing I can think of. You could put it on with white and it really makes it look pretty cute so i i really do like these i'm assuming this will fit the way the other ones does minus the little bit of extra room that it does have in it but either way i'm still not mad at the purchase it is the pointed toe here with the black heel um very you know small on the shaft here just a traditional ink boot does have your little triangle here yeah i like these 
I, I really am. I really am glad that I purchased these. I think these are really cute. I assumed that walking in these wouldn't be too much of a task. I did like the grip on the bottom of these as well as the white ones. I noticed that it's sort of like a rubber kind of sole and I feel like those do grip to the ground very well. Especially if you're walking in places that does have a little bit of slip on their floor. So I feel like these will, will do pretty well in them. But yeah, here's the boot again. Overall, I do recommend these. I did keep the thing that comes in here just because I noticed that these do crease very easily. The white ones that I wore, um, I, they was definitely creasing, which I, I honestly don't really mind just because I'm going to wear my shoes. So creases are not, unless they, you know, really start falling apart, then I'm going to get rid of them. But, you know, I know some people, they really get particular about that. So I tried to keep the base of them in my shoes just to see how they work this time around, see if it does any difference in my opinion. But yeah, here are the boots. Well, family, you made it to the end of this video. And of course, you already know, but I'm going to ask, which item was your favorite? For me, I think... I think my favorite is probably going to have to be the silver boots. I think, I think between the silver, yeah, I think the silver is going to be my favorite out of the, out of the whole haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. I will have another haul coming up pretty soon. And so stick around if you want to see that there. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're already not subscribed so you can join the family. And with that being said, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Typically, it's hard for me to pick a favorite, but the silver, I don't know. The, I felt like they're just the best combination of, you know, simplistic with being a little cute and girly. But yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs>